there are moments of greatness. These grand moments are composed of notes that are played in the smaller moments of your life and often go unnoticed by outsiders. The opus is about finding and playing these small notes. The notes that will lead you to your greatest moments and where you will find your greatest self. From vision to plan to performance, the opus. You and I are here to do magnificent and magnanimous things. You're here to create and you're here to contribute and you're here to connect at a high velocity. Everybody deep inside has a dream and a vision and a calling and an inspiration that they're here to do. Some people get into vision and purpose and they make it so huge or they think it has to be so big that they scare themselves and they almost freeze themselves and don't come up with anything. Your vitality in life is directly proportionate to the vividness of your vision. And when you have a clear vision, the magnetic things occur and you draw into your life amazing synchronicities. People, places, things, ideas and events start to synchronize in your life to help you fulfill your vision. in your heart that you want to do something. It might be open a business, it might be open a service, it might be write a book, it might be do any number of things. It's unique to you, but you haven't done it yet. You now have the beginning of some motivation. Your heart is pumping a little faster. The sweat is on your brow because you are excited about this. I want you to take action. I want you to go out there and do something. I want you to dare something worthy. Now you have the tools. You have a vision. You believe you can do it. You're clear and you know why you want it. You have a first action to get started with. You know where to go for help. And you know failure can't stop you, only slow you. You are the composer of your life. And your greatest moment is before you. It is decision. What will you decide to do now? What will your opus be? Your opus isn't just what you do, it will be the legacy of what you've become. One of God's greatest requirements with lasting success is to teach the man who possesses it. To teach him about himself and to allow him to contribute what he has been blessed with back to the world. Vincenzo's music was a great gift to all who heard it. But the true gift was in the legacy that he created in another. This was truly his opus. And now, as time passes, there's a question that each of us must ask ourselves. What will your opus be?